Hey, welcome. We're in Luke chapter 24 today, verses 25 to 27. Jesus is caught up with a group of people that are kind of moping on their way back from Jerusalem and to a city called Emmaus. Let's see what happens next, starting at verse 25. Then he said to them, O foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not the Christ to have suffered these things to and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So here the Jesus says, you're being foolish, you're forgetting the scriptures. And whenever we forget the Bible, we're being foolish. Uh, on that day of all days, they needed to go back to the scriptures. And so notice then this uh, remarkable pattern in that 27th verse. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he, Jesus, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So Jesus gives literally, literally a Bible study. And I believe it's a walking study as they're all going toward Emmaus. Uh, Jesus has all these scriptures in his mind. And so he is, he is recounting verbally. He's showing them those, all those things. And he starts at Genesis. He goes all the way through, uh, all the way through to the current time, following out the prophets one by one, each thing, each piece that pointed to his, his life and death, his, his sacrifice for humankind. And there's a pattern for us. How do we want to understand the Bible? We need to begin, uh, go through everything in the Bible, and go through and find everything that pertains to that point that we're studying. If we're studying about the Sabbath, we'll look and find the first reference to it, and we'll go all the way through the Bible and find the, all, the, all the references. And then we'll watch and look, especially for those that all seem to, to help us understand that concept from the first one to the last one. We'll go through, if we're studying the resurrection, we're studying the crucifixion, if we're studying a topic, tithing, we'll go through from the first text to the last text. Although there will be two or three that are harder to understand, uh, the general outcome of all the scriptures is going to be very simple. And although there will be two or three that are perhaps difficult to understand, the main body of them will all be relatively easy to understand. And then we'll look at those two or three cases that for some reason seemed harder to understand and try to look at those closely in their context study those out more closely, and we're going to find a unity throughout the scriptures, whatever the topic is that we study. So this is the Protestant principle of letting scripture interpret scripture, and this is what Jesus does way back when there. Jesus tells them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. There is the way for you and I also to understand God, what God has revealed and to study his word. Really important, and look at how Jesus proceeds, and he is our example. He is our pattern. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that uh, Jesus showed us the path. The path is to go backwards, back to the scriptures, look and see what you have revealed there for us already, and gather up all the pieces and understand what you have revealed. We know it's not our business to create new dogmas, to create new doctrines. It's our business to Look into your word and see what you have already revealed and then live by that. So bless your church. Help us, Lord, and help us to also go through the scriptures from front to back and be able to see where Jesus is and be able to tell others about Jesus by looking into your word all the way through. Thank you that the Bible itself is centered on the life and ministry of Jesus. Now, Lord, we give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends. May the Lord bless you as you continue studying his word and as we continue studying. Just a few more mornings and we'll be done with Gospel of Luke. God bless you.